A friend of mine was just talking to me yesterday about Chesapeake. He's very familiar with the company. And he said that this is the best Chapter 11 bounce back story maybe in history. Is, is he right? Well, I, I certainly would agree. And I may be a little biased in that, but. If there's anyone who can truly appreciate where Chesapeake Energy stands right now, it is the company's CEO, Nick Delosso. He took over shortly after the company emerged from Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 2021, but he's been with Chesapeake since 2008. How, how is today's Chesapeake different from the Chesapeake that you joined? Well, there are so many things about the company that have never changed, and that's where I would really point to the people. But what has changed, of course, is that the company has evolved into a, an organization that is highly profitable, uh, is very sustainable for the long term, uh, will be a part of the economy and a part of this community for a very long time in a really productive way. In his time in OKC, Del also watched Chesapeake go from aggressive growth to a shrinking company on the verge of bankruptcy. And under his leadership, the company has emerged from Chapter 11 restructuring, certainly smaller in personnel, but perhaps stronger than ever before. In January, he announced Chesapeake would merge with Southwestern Energy in Houston, a move that would make the newly combined company the country's largest net producer of natural gas. How is the struggle of the recent years, how has that become the bedrock for what you're doing now? Well, through that struggle, we built the assets that we have today. We built the capabilities, we built the, uh, the presence in the market to be able to deliver on uh, the promise of delivering energy to consumers in the way that we do today, which is uh, lower carbon, more affordable, more reliable than uh, all the other competing sources of energy. There are still many unknowns with this merger and the still to be named company it will create. But two things we do know is that Del Osso will stay on as CEO and the company will continue to be headquartered in OKC, a city that Chesapeake Energy has for years had an oversized influence. Is that changing at all going forward? Or do you always expect Chesapeake to be a massive company for this city? No, I absolutely expect us to be hugely important to this city, hugely important to the oil and gas industry, hugely important to the economy broadly. Uh, we're really proud to be here in Oklahoma City and, and uh, we're excited about what this merger means and how it solidifies that. Del also would not get into specifics about the merger's potential new hires or layoffs, but he did say he is excited about what this new company will mean for its employees. He's also excited about where those OKC-based employees will soon do their work, a single building on the sprawling Chesapeake Energy campus in Nichols Hills. Del also says they will use as much square footage there as the company currently uses, spread out over multiple buildings. He says it will be a more modern, efficient workplace. But what about the rest of the campus? The real estate that is this campus is a spectacular asset that the company owns. We're very proud of this. And we live in this community, we work in this community, and what this represents to this community is really important to us. Not only is it a, a beautiful asset and one that we think is underutilized in the way we're using it today, uh, it sits in a really important part of the city. There's been a ton of development that's gone on around here, and we're pretty excited to engage with our neighbors and the community at large to determine a better use for buildings that are underutilized today. There is no concrete timeline for the merger to close, though both Chesapeake and Southwestern are hoping it closes in the second half of this year. As an Oklahoma City resident yourself now for a decade and a half, what do you want the people of Oklahoma City, when they think of Chesapeake, what do you want them to think? Chesapeake is a very healthy company that is fulfilling an enormous need in the energy industry. Uh, we are driving innovation driving the delivery of energy to markets where it is needed that it has a hard time reaching today uh, and we're doing so at a lower cost which is great for consumers and creates a more profitable sustainable enterprise for this city uh, as we create value for our shareholders that creates value for the community around us and we're really pleased to do that and we're really proud to do it right here in Oklahoma City so I'm hearing that you think that Oklahoma City should be proud of, of Chesapeake absolutely